Hi everyone. This is Ashish. I'm a junior doctor in the UK. And in today's video, we'll talk about asthma and its management. This is one of the important topics for the PLAV1 exam. The management in this video is based on NICE guidelines for adults who are aged 17 years and over with newly diagnosed asthma or any asthma that is uncontrolled on their current treatment. The first step is to start with short-acting beta-2 agonists, which is SABA, and you'll start them in asthma with infrequent episodes, short-lived fees, and normal lung function. If the symptoms are not resolved with SABA, then you'll have to offer a low dose of inhaled corticosteroids or ICS as the first line maintenance therapy. Maintenance therapy is important for patients who have asthma related symptoms three times a week or more, or asthma symptoms are causing them to wake up at night. If the asthma symptoms are still not controlled, then you'll have to offer a leukotriene receptor antagonist like Monte Lucast with the low dose ICS as maintenance therapy. The next step is to add a long acting beta to agonist. You can consider it with ICS and LTRA, which is leukotriene receptor antagonist. If the previous mentioned therapies are not working, then you'll have to switch to the MART regimen. The MART regimen is maintenance and reliever therapy. It is combined ICS and LABA treatment in a single inhaler, and it is used for both daily maintenance therapy and for the relief of symptoms as necessary. This can be given with or without LTRAs. If the symptoms still persist, you'll have to go for step six, which is increasing the dose of ICS from low to moderate dose. If the symptoms are still not gone, then you can go for the following options. Either you can increase the ICS to a high maintenance dose. For this, you'll have to change from the MART regimen to SABA plus high dose ICS plus LABA plus minus LTRA. This is one of the options. The next option is to go for a trial of long-acting muscarinic receptor antagonist, which is teotropium bromide, or you can go for theophylline, or you can seek expert advice. Let's have a look at the summary of the management for asthma. So you start with SABA. In step two, you add low-dose ICS. In step three, you add LTRA. In step four, you add LABA. In step five, you change to the MART regimen with low dose ICS plus minus LTRA. In step six, you go for the MART regimen with moderate dose ICS plus minus LTRA. In the last step, you can either consider SABA plus high dose ICS plus LABA plus minus LTRA, or you can go for trial of additional drugs such as theotropium or theophylline, or you can seek expert advice. I hope this video helped you. If you like the video, please click on the like button. Please share the video and subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you.